what I want to do in this video is one, just do a bunch of addition examples so that we really get some good practice and we really get warmed up with addition. And what I even more want to show you is that we now have all the tools we need to really tackle any, any addition problems. So let's just get warmed up with some one digit addition problems, but these are the ones that always give me a little bit of a headache. Well, let's start with a really uh, well, relatively straightforward. We want to say 2 plus 4. Well, we know what that is. We don't think we need to draw the number line uh, at this point, but you can if if you need to remember this. 2 plus 4 is 6. Not too bad. What about 9 plus 3? We saw that in the last video. 9 plus 1 is 10, plus another one is 11. Plus 3 is 12. 9 plus 3 is 12. And it's probably not a bad idea. It's good to visualize what's happening here, but it's also not a bad idea to be able to do these very fast, to be able to memorize at least what the one digit addition problems end up being. Let's do a couple of harder ones. 6 plus 7. This one always I used to find uh, difficult to, to remember, but 6 plus 7 is 13. 6 plus 7 is 13. Draw the number lines and the lemons and limes if, if, you, if you don't believe me. 6 plus 7 is 13. 8 plus 6, or 6 plus 8, is going to be 14. And that's the same thing as 7 plus 7 it is also going to be 14. And if you think about it, we got the same number here as there. And, and it makes sense, right? Because we took one away from 8, but we had one more than 6. So it's like you just shifted the 1 from the 8 to the 6. That's why we got the same answer. If that confused you, ignore it. Let's just do a couple of more of these. So 8 plus 8 is 16. These are things that hopefully you'll you'll be able to do super fast in the not too far off future. 5 plus 6. Well, that's 11. These are things, let me just do a couple of more really fast. So let's say 7 plus 9 is going to be 16. You might want to draw the number line if you don't believe me. And that's going to be the same thing as 8 plus 8 is also 16. And then 9 plus 9 is 18. And then 9 plus 8 is 17. And that's just a little bit of warm up. We didn't do all of the possible combinations of one digit numbers. But these are some of the ones that give people a little bit more headache. So now that we've done that, let's tackle some larger digit numbers that we started doing in the previous video. In the previous, maybe I'll leave that there for now. So let's do a couple of them. Let's do 22 plus 3. 22 plus 3. So we go to the ones place. 2 plus 3 is 5. We didn't have to carry anything. And then in the tens place, we just have this 1, 2 sitting here. So we just take that 2, 2 plus nothing. It's two tens. It's two dimes. So then we put that down there. So we get 25. Two dimes and five pennies, or 25 cents, depending on a lot of people. Money makes it easier to, be, uh, to understand things, or maybe, maybe to be motivated to understand things. All right, let's do another one. What is 38, 38 plus 38 plus 17? 38 plus 17. So what's so we look at just the ones place. What is 8 plus 7? Well, we haven't done that one yet. I'll do it up here. 8 plus 7 is equal to, well, it's going to be 1 more than 8 plus 6, right? 8 plus 6 is 14. Then 8 plus 7 is going to be 1 more than that. So it's 8 is going to be equal to 15. So in, the, in this problem, we write the 5 here. Let me write this in a different color. So the 5 and the 15, we'd write right down there in the 1's place. And we would carry the 1, because that's 1 dime. That's 1 10. When, you know, when I, it's 1, you know, this 15, this is 10 plus 5. So this, this 1 really means 1 10, or 1 dime. So we put that 1 up there in the tens place. And we have 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So you get 55. 1 plus 3 plus 1 is this 5. 38 plus 17 is 55. Or 5 tens and 5 ones. That's the same thing as 55. Let's do a couple more problems. I think you'll see that we have the tools to tackle anything, any problem. Let's say we have 47. Let me switch colors just to, just so it stays interesting. 47 plus 9. 47 plus 9. So we just look at the ones place. 7 plus 9. We know what that is already. We did that problem already. 7 plus 9 is 16. So you write the 6 in the ones place and carry the 1.
And that and now it's in the tens place, right? Because this is one ten right there. So one ten one dime plus four dimes is five dimes. So it's five dimes and six pennies. It's fifty-six. Let's do slightly harder problems. Let me scroll down a little bit so we have some space to work with. Space to work with. That's we always need that. Alright, let's let's do let's do something hard. Ninety-nine plus eighty-eight. That's a hard one. All right, but you just have to look at the parts of the problem, and you'll see how it'll all work out. You just say, what's, what's 9 plus 8? We did that up here. 9 plus 8, we know already, is 17. That's a good one to remember. 9 plus 8 is 17. It's always good to be able to visualize it as well. So 9 plus 8 is 17. Carry the 1. And then we have 1 plus 9 is 10. 10 plus 8 is 18. Now this is interesting. We want to write 18 down. So we have write our 8 down there, right? We have 1 plus 9 plus 8. 1 plus 9 plus 8 is equal to 18. We wrote the 8 down there, and we say, oh, well, let's carry the 1. We carry the 1, but we carry it into the hundreds place. This was the 1's place, the 10's place. Now we're in the hundreds place. But there's nothing else in the hundreds place, so it just drops straight down. So you can almost just write the 18. Just like that. So 99 plus 88 is 187. Let's keep doing some examples. Well, you can see it's all the same pattern. We could probably we could add two 10-digit numbers to each other as long as we're just careful about carrying our digits. So let's do 700. Let me switch colors because I'm. We'll do some three-digit numbers. Let's do a four-digit number. Let's not mess around. Let's do a four-digit number. So let's do 4,000. Three hundred and sixty eight plus five hundred and seventy two. Let's see what happens here. All right. Eight plus two. I'll write it down here. Eight plus two. We know that that is equal to ten. You could do the number line if you need to. Eight plus two is equal to ten. Put the zero in the ones place, carry the one. Now we're in the tens place. This is really one ten. This is six tens. This is seven tens. Or you could think of them as dimes if we're thinking about change. So one dime plus six dimes is seven dimes. Seven dimes plus seven dimes is fourteen. Let me write it like this. We could write one plus six plus seven is equal to one plus six is seven. Seven plus seven is fourteen. So this right here is going to be equal to fourteen. Carry the one. Now we have, let me do it in another color. I'll do it in pink. We have 1 plus 3. We're in the hundreds place now. Plus 5. 1 plus 3 plus 5. Well, 1 plus 3 is 4. 1 plus 3 is 4. Plus 5 is 9. 4 plus 5 is 9, so this is going to be equal to 9. Nothing to carry. We only had something in our ones place. Nine is just nine pennies. It's no dimes. It's just nine pennies. And then we go to the thousands place. Nothing to add to the thousands place. So you just take this 4,000. You see a four here, but since it's in the fourth digit to the left, this means 4,000. So this 4,000 right here, we don't have any other thousands to add it to, so we just bring it straight down. So you bring the four down there. So 4,368 plus 572 is 4,000. We'll put a comma there to make it easier to read. 4,940.